Well, hello everybody. Welcome to our class number 11. This is Maggie and I'm going to be your teacher today. Okay, we're going to start correcting your homework from last class. Yes, that was a handout uh, called Body Parts. This handout and your homework was exercise B. Yes? So, take your hand out and we're going to correct the sentences. Yes? Vamos a corregir la tarea del hand out body parts exercise B. ¿Ya lo tienen listo para corregir? Ok, take your green pen, saquen la lapicera verde. And we're going to correct the sentences. Now, listen. Las oraciones que yo voy a escribir, ustedes las pueden tener en otro orden. Es muy probable que estén en un orden mezclado al que hicieron ustedes. No importa eso, ¿sí? Cuando yo escriba una oración acá, ustedes la buscan en su lista de oraciones y la corrigen. ¿Ok? Now, let's see. So, we had... I've got two hands. I've got one head. Number three. Let's go. Let's go with nose. So, I've got one nose. Okay. Now, number four. Let's go with this. Foot or feet? What was the difference? Okay. What? This is the plural. Yes. So. We are going to use the plural because we've got more than one foot. We've got two feet. Yes, tenemos dos pies. So, I've got two feet. Okay? Now, let's go with mouth. We're going to use the singular. I've got one mouth. Good. Now with arms. We're going to use the plural. I've got two arms. Now with finger. We're going to use the plural fingers. I've got ten fingers. Very good. Now with neck, we're going to use the singular here. I've got one neck. Now leg, we're going to use the plural legs. I've got two legs. And remember we talked about this and we said that, well, teeth is the plural for tooth. And since we have a lot of teeth, we're going to say I've got lots of teeth. Excellent. Lo voy a dejar acá un minutito para que puedan, si se atrasaron con alguna oración, verlas todas para corregirlas. ¿Ok? Very good. So, remember, que ustedes al corregirlas con la lapicera verde, le ponen una tilde, ¿ya? ¿sí? And when you finish, you write corrected in class. Okay? Very good. Well done. Okay. In today's class, we're going to start with your book working on page 34. Vamos a abrir el libro 
en la página 34. Yes, page 34. This is page 34. Look, 34. Yes, we have a story. Earth Explorer. Kit and Fizz are at the zoo. Yes, bueno. Vayan abriendo sus libros en la página 34 que vamos a leer esta historia. Earth Explorer. Kit and Fizz are at the zoo. Ok. First of all, eh, mientras escuchemos la historia vamos a trabajar también con uno de los handouts, una de las fotocopias. Pero antes de eso vamos a mirar un poquito la historia, a ver qué, what can we see, para ver what can we see, eh, qué podemos ver. At, well, they are at the zoo, yes, están en el zoológico, at the zoo, and apparently they can see lots of animals, yes, at the zoo. Very good. So, we're going to listen to the story. Vamos a escuchar ahora la historia y vamos a trabajar con el handout, la fotocopia, que se llama Handout at the Zoo. At the Zoo, yes? And it's this handout, ¿sí? Pueden tener el libro abierto, pero tengan esta fotocopia encima. Vamos a trabajar con esta fotocopia mientras escuchamos el audio. ¿Sí? At the zoo. Listen and complete. Vamos a escuchar la historia que dijimos recién de Kit and Fizz at the zoo. ¿Yes? Y cuando la escuchamos, tenemos que completar estas oraciones. Miren, vamos a leerla. Number one. Monkeys can... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Monkeys can. Lo que pueden hacer los monkeys. Then, parrots can talk. And... Mm -mm, too. They are very... Mm -mm -mm and... Mm -mm -mm. Yes? We're talking about parrots here. Parrots. Number three. The tiger isn't. Mm -mm -mm. It's. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, the tiger isn't. Apparently, van a decir algo que el tiger no es. And number four. The animals in the zoo are. Mm -mm -mm. Yes? Bueno. Todos tengan listo este handout, esta fotocopia. Y ahora, mientras la escuchamos en clase, van a ir completándola. Y luego la vamos a corregir. Ok. Let's see. Vayan preparando todo mientras yo pongo el agua. Unit 3C, Exercise 1, Earth Explorer. Listen and read. Kit and Fizz are at the zoo. Wow! This is a cool place! Can I take photos? Yes, you can. But you can't touch the animals. <laughs> They're monkeys. They can jump and climb. Can I touch them? No, you can't. Ah! No, you can't! Hello? Can you talk? Yes, we can. But we can fly too. We're very clever and very beautiful. Ah! Oh no! It's Bandit's big brother! It's a tiger. You can touch it. Yes, you can. It's very slow. Ah! 
You can't touch the animals in the zoo. They're dangerous. And I'm dangerous too, Fizz. Ok, very good. Vamos a escucharlo de nuevo, ¿sí? Así que no se preocupen si no pudieron completar algunas. Vamos a escucharlo de nuevo. Unit 3C, Exercise 1, Earth Explorer. Listen and read. Kit and Fizz are at the zoo. Wow! This is a cool place! Can I take photos? Yes, you can. But you can't touch the animals. They're monkeys. They can jump and climb. Can I touch them? No, you can't. Ah! No, you can't. Hello? Can you talk? Yes, we can. Ah! We can fly too. We are very clever and very beautiful. Ah! Oh no! It's Bandit's big brother! It's a tiger! You can touch it! Yes, you can! It's very slow! Quack! Quack! No! It isn't slow! It's fast! Fizz, you can't touch the animals in the zoo. They're dangerous. And I'm dangerous too, Fizz. Okay, very good. We're going to correct the exercise now. Yes, vamos a corregirlo. Remember that you can say the answers and write them on the chat. Yes, pueden escri ir escribiendo las respuestas en el chat. Okay, monkeys can... Están exponiéndolo en el chat. Good, they can jump and... Climb. Good. Number two. Parrots can talk and fly too. They are very clever. Very clever. Do you remember? Good. Intelligent. They are very clever and very beautiful. Good. Number three. The tiger isn't isn't slow. No. It's Fast. Good. Number four. The animals in the zoo are... The animals in the zoo are... Dangerous. Good. Well done, guys. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Now, I'm going to explain one of your homework yes i'm going to explain a part of your homework this is oh remember here sorry me olvidé decirle here when you correct 
hacer como hacemos siempre, ¿sí? Cuando corregimos, ponemos las tildes with green, yes. And corrected in class. Ok, very good. Ahora sí, vamos a pasar a explicar una parte de la tarea que es uno de los handouts, yes, que tenían hoy, que es este, se llama handout adjectives, yes, handout adjectives. It's this one, yes. Vamos a explicarlo y lo van a hacer de tarea y lo van a corregir la clase que viene. Adjectives. Find these words in the word square. Yes, we have lots of adjectives. Un montón de adjetivos. Lots of adjectives. Great. Slow. Fast. Nice. Long. Dangerous. Clever. And beautiful. Yes? You have to find the words here. Tienen que encontrar las palabras en la sopa de letra. ¿Ok? Excellent. Very good. Now, we're going to work with another handout. Yes, from your virtual classroom. And it's this one. Hands out, monkey trouble. Hands out, monkey trouble. Yes, van a trabajar con este hands out. A ver, we're going to open it. Here and very good. We're going to work with a reading activity. Yes, vamos a hacer una actividad de lectura. Reading activity. Okay, so here we have the reading exercise. Let's read the title. Read the text and look at the pictures. Yes or no? So, we're going to read the text and we're going to look at the pictures, yes? They have information too. Vamos a leer el texto y a mirar las fotos en detalle porque también nos dan información, ¿sí? Ok, let's read. Vamos a leer. Yo voy a leer y ustedes van a seguir la lectura con sus handouts, yes? Monkey trouble. This is an orangutan from Sumatra. Sumatra is in Asia. Orangutans live in trees and they like eating fruit. They are very big and clever. They have got long red hair. Orangutans can climb and jump but they can't fly. This is an orangutan. Yes? Now, this is a capuchin monkey. It is from South America and it lives in the jungle. It is small and thin. It can jump and climb, but it can't swim. It has got four legs and a long tail, but it hasn't got sharp teeth. Okay. A lot of information, yes? So we have orangutans and a capuchin monkey, yes? Okay, now we're going to read these sentences and we have to write yes or no when we read the sentence we check the information here cuando leemos las oraciones chequeamos la información con el texto de arriba sí para ver si escribimos yes or no so i'm going to give you two minutes for you to do the exercise yes les voy a dar dos minutos para que vuelvan a leer el texto y hagan el ejercicio, ¿sí? Luego lo vamos a corregir juntos, ¿ok? Come on, les voy a dejar 
la pantalla así para que puedan leer y hacer el ejercicio. Ojo, presten atención que hay información que van a tener en las oraciones que no está escrita en el texto, pero sí está en las imágenes. Ojo, ¿eh? También miren las imágenes para chequear si la oración va yes or no. Ok, very good. We're going to correct the exercise, yes? Vamos a corregir. Si no pudieron terminar alguno, lo chequeamos ahora juntos, ¿sí? Let's see. So, number one is an example. Orangutans are from Asia. So, habíamos visto acá que dice, This is an orangutan from Sumatra. Sumatra is in Asia. So, Yes. Number two. Capuchin monkeys are big. Big. Pero en el texto dice, the capuchin monkey, que es el segundo párrafo, look, dice, it is small and thin. Small is the opposite of big. Yes. Así que, the answer here is no. Number three. Yes, number three. Orangutans have uh, sorry, orangutans have got short hair. Volvemos al párrafo de los orangutans. Yes. Dice they are big and clever. They have got long red hair. Long red hair. Y acá dice que they have got short hair. So Mm, no. Now, number four. Orangutans have got long arms. Long arms. Vamos al texto. Dice, orangutans live in trees and they like eating fruit. They are big and clever. They have got long red hair. Orangutans can climb and jump, but they can't fly. Dice algo de los arms. ¿Qué eran los arms? Los brazos. Very good. No dice nada el texto, pero dijimos que las imágenes 
también daban información. So, let's look at the picture here. Look at the arms. They are really long. Yes? Yes, they are long. So, orangutans have got long arms? Yes. Good. Now, let's go to number five. Caputin monkeys have got red hair. Caputin monkeys have got red hair. Vamos al texto de los Caputin monkeys. It is from South America and it lives in the jungle. It is small and thin. It can jump and climb, but it can't swim. It has got four legs and a long tail, but it hasn't got sharp teeth. No dice nada del hair. So, we look at the picture. Has it got red hair? No. No. Its hair is white and black. Now, number six. Caputin monkeys can swim. Caputin monkeys can swim. Vamos de nuevo al texto de los Caputin monkeys. It can jump and climb, but it can't swim. It can't swim. So the answer here is no. Very good. So when you finish, si lo corrigieron, con su lapicera verde, se ponen los tildes correspondientes. And you write corrected in class. Very good. Now, we're going to do exercise B, yes? So, here it says, correct the false sentences. We have to correct the false sentences from exercise A. We have an example, yes? With number two, que decía no. Decía, caputin monkeys are big. Pero eso no era verdad, no. So, we correct the sentence and we write Capuchin monkeys aren't big, they are small. Yes? Ok. So, ahora, ustedes, de nuevo, les voy a dar tres o cuatro minutos para que puedan corregir las oraciones que tienen no. Esas van a ser las oraciones. Sentences, number, number three, number five, and number six, que son las que tienen no, acá. And we have to correct those sentences here, acá. Yes? De la misma forma en que hicimos la, la del ejemplo. Miren. La number three la vamos a hacer todos juntos y después les doy dos minutos para que hagan las otras. Yes? So, dice, orangutans have got short hair. Pero eso estaba mal, porque acá decía, they have got long red hair. So, si dice, orangutans have got short hair y tengo que corregir esa oración falsa. We write. Oh, sorry. Orangutans. Yo quiero decir que eso está mal, que no es así. So, orangutans haven't, sorry, haven't got short hair. Primero, decimos que eso no es así, lo negamos. Full stop. Another sentence, and now we provide the right information. Ahora escribimos la información verdadera. They, podemos poner, abreviar, sorry, they, They've got, 
or they have got, they've got long hair. Yes? Like this. Entonces teníamos acá, orangutans have got short hair. Y como era no, ponemos orangutans haven't got short hair. They've got long hair. Yes? Ahora entonces les voy a dar dos minutos para que escriban de forma correcta, corrigiendo las oraciones. Five and six. Yes? You're going to write. The, you're going to correct sentence five here and sentence six here. ¿Ok? Two minutes. Cuando terminen de escribirlas en su handout, en su fotocopia o en su hoja donde hayan copiado la fotocopia, lo vamos a chequear también en el chat, ¿sí? Come on, vamos a trabajar. Okay, very good. So, let's see. We're going to correct sentence five. ¿Alguno quiere escribirla en el chat? Si es que no la escribieron todavía. A ver. Vamos a corregir. So, let's read. Capuchin monkeys have got red hair. And that is not true. So, we write. Captain monkeys haven't got red hair. The correct sentence is they've got white and black hair or black and white. Es lo mismo. Yes? Now, number six. Caputin monkeys can swim. And we, acá habíamos leído que decía it can jump and climb, but it can't swim. So, Caputin monkeys can't swim. Yes, acá dice can swim, but that is not true. They can't swim. They can jump and climb. They can, they can jump and climb. Okay? Very good. ¿Cómo le fue en este ejercicio? Cuéntenme en el chat, a ver. 
sorry, no, you correct with the green. So you can correct the sentences. Very good, well done. Very good. Now we're going to do exercise C. Answer the questions with full answers. Vamos a responder las preguntas con respuestas completas. Yes? We're going to read the questions first. Vamos a leer las preguntas. Number one. Where do orangutans live? Where do orangutans live? ¿Alguien se acuerda que era where? Where do orangutans live? ¿Qué estamos preguntando? ¿Dónde viven los orangutanes? Very good. Number two. Are they clever? Are they clever? So, ¿qué estamos preguntando acá? Are they, ¿quiénes son they? Ellos, los que mencionamos antes, the orangutans. Are they clever? Very good. Estamos preguntando si son inteligentes. Number three. Can an orangutan climb? Can an orangutan climb? ¿Qué estamos preguntando? ¿Con can? Ya vimos. Can era... Very good. Si puede el orangután trepar. Very good. Can an orangutan climb? Now, number four. Number four. Where are capuchin monkeys from? Where are capuchin monkeys from? ¿De ¿Qué estamos preguntando ahora? ¿De dónde son los capuchin monkeys? Yes. Where are they from? Where are capuchin monkeys from? Question number five. Pay attention. What do they look like? What do they look like? They son los capuchin monkeys, que son los que mencionamos en la pregunta anterior. Y cuando preguntamos what do they look like, ¿qué estamos preguntando? Lo vimos la clase pasada, ¿se acuerdan? Bien, good. We are asking about their they looks, yes, the way they look. The appearance, yes? ¿Cómo se ven ellos? ¿Cómo son? ¿Cómo, ¿Cuál es su apariencia física? Yes? What do they look like? Recuerden que cuando tenemos look like no estamos preguntando qué les gusta. Mm -mm. Estamos preguntando cómo se ven ellos, cómo son. What do they look like? Ok, so, ahora que vimos bien todas las preguntas, eh, vamos a ir haciéndolas juntos de a una, ¿yes? Vamos viéndola y ustedes pueden escribir la respuesta en el chat y yo les voy a dar tiempo para que la escriban en el handout también, ¿sí? So, number one. Where do orangutans live? Where do orangutans live? So, volvemos al texto y tenemos el primer párrafo. This is an orangutan from Sumatra. Sumatra is in Asia. Now look. Orangutans live in trees. And they like eating fruit. Pero la información que necesitamos es esta. Orangutans live in trees. Porque acá pregunta... Uy, tengo que... Acá pregunta... Where do orangutans live? Yes? So... The answer, que la vimos recién, a ver, pueden ponerla en el chat, así la compartimos entre todos y luego la escribimos en la fotocopia. Where do orangutans live? This is the answer, yes? Now 
Very good. Very good. The answer is orangutans live in trees. Excellent. Vamos. Copiemos la respuesta si es que no la habían puesto ya en el handout. Yes. Orangutans live in trees. Now, esta la van a hacer ustedes. Recuerden que antes de corregirla pueden hacerla en lápiz, en la fotocopia, ¿sí? Number two. Are they clever? This is a yes, no question. Yes, es una pregunta que se responde con sí o con no, con yes or no. So, are they clever? Let's read. Orangutans live in trees and they like eating fruit. They are big and clever. Yes. So the answer here is... Lo escriben en el chat. La respuesta completa. Full answer. Excellent. The answer is yes. They are. Very good. Yes, they es el sujeto que está en la pregunta. And usamos are, que es la misma palabra que tenemos en la pregunta. Yes, are they clever? Yes, they are. Now, number three. Bueno, copien esto también en la fotocopia. Yes, es que no lo hicieron todavía. Number three. Can an orangutan climb? Can an orangutan climb? Let's see. Nos habíamos quedado en esta parte del texto. They are big and clever. They have got long red hair. Orangutans can climb and jump, but they can't fly. So they can climb. Yes. So can an orangutan climb? Y miren la pregunta. Está preguntando eh, si puede un orangután trepar. No los orangutanes en general, en plural. ¿Yes? Esto hay que tener cuidado por el pronombre que, de sujeto que vamos a usar en la respuesta. No vamos a usar they porque no está hablando de ellos en plural. Está hablando de un orangután. So, can an orangutan climb? Dijimos que la respuesta era yes. ¿Y acá qué pronombre usamos? Yes. It can. Very good. Yes. It refiriéndose al orangutan. Yes, it can. Now, number four. Where are capuchin monkeys from? Where are capuchin monkeys from? ¿De dónde son? So, let's see. This is a capuchin monkey. It is from South America. Here's the information. It is from South America. So... Where are capuchin monkeys from? Si tenemos plural, plural, sorry. We write they, very good. They are from South America. Good. Yo les voy dando el tiempo para que escriban las respuestas en su fotocopia. Well done. Now, number five. What do they look like? What do they look like? 
Capuchin monkeys were talking about. What do they look like? And here we have a picture. And here we have more information. It has got four legs and a long tail. So we can write We can write this information, yes? It has got four legs and a long tail, but it hasn't got sharp teeth. También, información de cómo se ve sería sobre el pelo, del hair. It has got white and black hair, yes? So, toda esa es información de cómo se ve. The capuchin monkey. Vamos a escribir mejor sobre el hair que da más información de cómo se ve. Yes? So, what do they look like? They, igual que en la pregunta, yes? They have got white and black hair. Yes? O they've got, también puede ser. Podemos abreviarlo y poner They've got white and black hair. ¿Ok? Very good. Well done. Muy importante que sepan que cuando les preguntan What do they look like? Están preguntando cómo es, ¿sí? Físicamente, de aspecto. Very good. Ok, now. Let's open your Discover English book at page 11. Vamos a abrir el libro. Page 11. Yes, 11. This is page 11. Look here, 11. Yes. And we're going to have a look at this grammar box. Entonces abran los libros. Página 11, page 11. And we'll have a look at this grammar box. Okay, so remember that when we have a grammar box, we can highlight it. Lo resaltamos por afuera. With a highlighter, con un resaltador. Yes. And we write remember. So, have got and haven't got. We use this to talk about. ¿Para qué usamos esto? ¿Para hablar de qué? Very good. Para hablar de lo que tenemos o no tenemos. Yes? For example. With I, you, we, they, we use have got or haven't got. Negative. I have got a mobile phone. Yes? Now, with he, she or it, we use has got or hasn't got. The negative. She has got a mobile phone. But he hasn't got a mobile phone. Yes? We are talking about what we have. Yes? Sobre lo que poseemos. También usamos have got para hablar de lo que tenemos en el aspecto físico. I have got two arms and a mouth. Yes? Very good. Now, una vez que ya remarcamos este cuadro, we go to page 13. 13, página 13, page 13. Page 13, and we go to this grammar box. Yes, están en la página 13 ya. Bueno, vamos. Así no se quedan atrás. So we have another grammar box, and we are going to highlight it. Resaltamos el cuadro. 
and we write remember and here we have the question form yes the question form la forma de pregunta para preguntar que habíamos dicho recién si teníamos algo ¿sí? have you got mm -mm -mm. for example have you got a sister como estamos preguntando si tenés o no tenés algo the answers are yes i have or no i haven't yes now with he she or it we use has no have has con he she or it has he got a sister si usamos he sería yes he has has she got a sister no she hasn't yes cuando preguntamos con has respondemos con has o hasn't si es negativo yes y la persona es la misma de la pregunta. Ok, very good. So now with this, we're going to work with a handout. Ahora vamos a pasar a un handout que tenían en, la, en el aula virtual. Here. Handout, remember, have, has, got. Handout, remember, have, has, got. It's this handout, yes? Remember. So, ¿se acuerdan que los handouts que decían remember no los doblamos, los pegamos enteritos? And we highlight remember, yes? Lo hacemos con resaltador. Así siempre lo podemos, pasamos la carpeta, podemos ver bien y acordarnos bien. Remember. Look, we have the same grammar boxes. Tenemos casi los mismos cuadros de grammar que vimos en el libro, casi. We have to complete them, yes? Vamos a completarlos. So, la primera parte, las personas que usábamos eran I, you, we, y cuál falta que va con, por ejemplo, haven't, en negative. I, you, we, y cuál falta, pueden ponerlo en el chat. I, you, we. And they, very good. So, they haven't got, short hair is the negative form. If for the affirmative, what do we use? They, they have, very good, they have got short hair. Now, con he, she, or mm, usamos has. ¿Cuál falta acá? He, she. He, she, it. Very good. This is very easy. It. She has got long hair. And the negative form, ¿cómo era el negativo? Con has. She, she hasn't got. Excellent. She hasn't got long hair. Now, we'll go to the question form. Vamos a preguntar si tiene o no algo. En este caso, miren, el ejemplo es Sharp teeth. ¿Qué era sharp teeth? Dientes afilados, filosos. So, con I, you, we, they, ¿qué usamos? I, you, we, they, ¿qué palabra viene primero? Very good. Have. Have you got sharp teeth? No, I haven't. For the negative. And if I ask. Have you got sharp teeth? The answer is yes. I have. Excellent. Now, with he, she, it, we use. Excellent. Has. Has she got sharp teeth? Yes, she has. Or no, she. Hasn't. Excellent. Very good. Bueno, les doy unos segunditos por si no terminaron de copiar estas palabritas en el handout. Remember that you can 
watch the video again at home, yes? Que cuando termine la clase pueden volver a ver el video de la clase si les quedó alguna duda. Y lo pueden ir pausando y volviendo para atrás, yes? Ok, remember, acuérdense de esta fotocopia cuando la peguen en la carpeta, no doblarla, ¿sí? Well done. Ok, this is all for today. Now I'm going to explain your virtual homework, yes? Your online homework. Online practice. Discover the animals, yes? Discover the animals. We have to discover animals. Tenemos que descubrir qué animales son. Let's see. Oops, wait. Just a minute. No, discover the animals, yes? Look at the pictures and match the animals with the definitions. Pay attention, there are two extra words. Yes, two extra words. So we have lots of animals here. And we have to discover the animals here. ¿Sí? Ojo que hay dos que están extra para confundir. So we have an example. This is the biggest animal in the world. It lives in the sea. Vive en el mar y es el más grande del mundo. The answer is the whale. Escriben el nombre del animal tal cual está acá, con mayúsculas, ¿sí? Para que se los tome bien. Let's read the sentences. This animal can fly and it comes out at night. Sale a la noche and it can fly. Acá lo tienen, ¿sí? Number two, this big animal lives in hot countries and eats leaves and grass. It's a very big animal, lives in hot countries and it eats leaves and grass. A very big animal. Number three, this is a wild cat, a wild cat. Un gato salvaje, a wild cat with black and orange stripes. What are stripes? The, son rayas, yes? Black and orange stripes. Number four. This tall African animal has got a very long neck. A very long neck. Un cuello muy largo. Number five, this gray animal lives in the sea, en el mar, and it has got sharp teeth. Hoy dijimos, ¿qué eran sharp teeth? Dientes filosos. Mm. Number six, it lives in the trees, eats bananas, and it has got a long tail. This is very easy. Number seven, this animal is green, but it can change it its color. It can change its color. It's green, but it can change its color. Es un animal que es verde, pero puede cambiar de color. Number eight. It is a colorful bird that sometimes can repeat words. A colorful bird, un pájaro colorido, that sometimes, sometimes can repeat words. Puede repetir las palabras. Very good. Number nine. It has got four legs and a shell and it can swim. A shell. What is a shell? Very good. Es un caparazón. And number ten. This small animal lives in the trees and eats nuts. Small animal lives in the trees Eats nuts. Mm, very easy. Es un animal que estuvimos viendo en las clases pasadas. And when you finish, you click here. Yes, you write the animal here. Okay, this is all for today. Thank you very much for your attention. And we'll see you next class. Bye bye. Recuerden que pueden hacer preguntas hasta la hora que termine la clase. Bye bye.